Hi, sometimes our customer support asks you to send us the log files of the server and the audit data of the terminals and also the crash logs. So this is how you do it from the server's command line. You'll go to BATM directory and we will execute sudo BATM manage which will list all of the commands available to us which change over the time when we add uh, new features you, you might see more commands but uh, this is what's there right now and we are interested in those three commands one is send crash logs send server logs and send audit logs what are the crash logs? crash logs are the log files generated by the terminals when some error happens some important error happens on the terminal so when that happens, terminal creates this log file and sends it to your server and that ser your server set stores it on your server <laughs> and on your drive there. And uh, when you and you are able to send those crash logs to us, those crash logs doesn't contain any uh, security sensitive data, uh, just where the application crashed and much more details for us to track down the problem. The server logs are the logs generated by the server itself. It logs all the communication with the wallets, for instance, but not the security sensitive data. So for instance, from these log files, we are not able to get access to, gain access to your Bitcoins or, or even to know where they are. Uh, and third category is audit logs. Audit logs are generated by some, by some banknote acceptors for instance by SCR recycler and that allows us if you send us this data it allows us to see what is the performance of the uh, recycler for instance we see how many banknotes are accepted how many were jammed how many were ref refused uh, we can see the communication between the acceptor and the and the host so, for instance, when when some, it doesn't accept some banknote, you can send us audit logs. We can we can see why it's not accepting the banknote. So let's uh, let's try to send some crash logs to the to the our support. So we we type send crash logs. Okay, there are no crash logs, but the mail to us was sent that there are no cr crash logs. And let's send the server logs. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the all the server logs, it's going to compress them into the zip file, and it's going to send us that zip file through email to our support. Okay, sometimes the log files are really long, and with the audit logs, it's the same. So when we ask you to send us the, the server logs or when you even have some complaint about the server functionality, you can send us the log files uh, even without uh, asking us to, to, to take a look on that. We, when we receive them, we will inspect them. Okay, bye-bye.